The first areas that the EMT will assess are the head and the neck. The main priority at this point is C-spine. The EMT assessing will look at the eyes, ears, nose, and mouth with special attention given to the mouth for any debris that, that could become an obstruction in the airway. You will also want to check for deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures and penetrations, burns, tenderness, laceration, and swelling, as well as crepitation of the scalp. Moving down, you will want to check the neck for any bleeding, as well as jugular vein distension and crepitation of the cervix. Next, you will apply the cervix collar to the patient. Moving down to the torso, the EMT will now check for deformities, contusions, abrasions, penetrations and punctures, burns, tenderness, lacerations and swelling of the chest, as well as equal rise and fall of the lungs. You will also want to listen to the lungs to make sure that there are signs of breathing. You do this by using the high and wet method, placing the stethoscope near the patient's armpit. Next, you will move down to the abdomen, checking all four quadrants by placing your palms on each one at a time and rolling across them. Next, we will check the pelvis by pushing up and in, down and out. You'll also want to make a visual inspection of the groin for any injuries, and then move on to the extremities. Begin with the legs, and again, check for deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures and penetration, burns, tenderness, lacerations, and swelling. You'll also want to check the extremities for a pulse, motor function, and sensation. This has been an overview of the Rapid Trauma Assessment.